Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. Last time we uh, started at our rediscovery tour of the Talo space station, and uh, we also kind of rediscovered the Neuromold division, which is apparently a larger area than we thought it was at the beginning of the game. And we're now exploring it to its fullest. It seems like we haven't been down here yet. And there is... That's a fabricator, right? Um, so we could go down. Uh, last time we checked out that office and we found out a few new things. But otherwise, I should probably take this area. Because, yeah, there were problems with fabrication. Um, and the guy upstairs, we got his name kind of turned off the possibility to make more neuromods because of course the neuromods were made from typhoon material and everybody using neuromods was kind of in danger of turning into a typhoon. I'm just quickly going to check with the psychoscope. I think I've called it the neuroscope a few times as well. I'm pretty sure it's a psychoscope, right? So Frederick Steele, Halden Graves office key. Yeah, okay, we just, that's probably got the guy from upstairs. Um, can get this out and then okay this isn't a whole, oh wait there's definitely a neuromold down there i just talked about how dangerous those things are but it's definitely a neuromold here and of course the technopod that we killed at the ending of the last episode there's a lot of doors in this area there is a lot of doors in this area did i check this corpse already nope tina snow and then, hello, anyone here? The restricted area. Hmm, we always like restricted areas, don't we? Um, but first, there's this storage area, and that has a recycler I've seen through the window. Ooh. Yeah, this definitely seems like Mimic Central. Mimic Central, I'm gonna have to be careful that... Don't blow myself up. Oh, this definite that's a lot of exotic materials. But what's the catch? What's the catch? There's definitely something twitching. I can't detect rate the mimics with a psychoscope, but I could see twitching if there was. Twitching. I definitely hear clicking, but. Might be just from the other side of the room here. Because the the recycler is broken. So let's repair that. To eliminate that noise at least. So that seems to have fixed the clicking noise. I'm gonna take the recycler charges. There we go. Might come in handy later on. And then, because you can actually use those recycling charges as a weapon as well. There we go, we've got it uh, again. A boatload of materials. This just keeps on coming. So, especially exotic materials, I don't really need any more of those. But uh, I think that this place is basically all the exotic material you would need. Yeah. So, Typhoon Plasma. And you can turn that plasma into more exotic materials. So, yeah. That, it's the music. It's the music that's making weird noises. It's like making those those bubbly noises in between the the notes, which is interesting. Okay, so we got it all the exotic material. Could technically uh, dismantle all of that as well. But uh, there's a lot in this area. Because I think this could also be one of your first areas to go to if you follow December. Because this is also where the uh, the arming key is suppo supposed to be. So, right? No? Not right? I don't see a secondary objective though. So while we're at it, I made another neuro mold. We're going into stealth now. So, stealth 2 or sneak attack? I think probably boost the stealth first and then the sneak attack damage. There we go. I'm basically turning myself into a gold because I'm a, a perfect hacker, a perfect mechanic, a weapon specialist. I'm just great at everything. So there is this tunnel thing underneath, but how do we get in there in the first place? Or does that seem like a completely different area? 
It's even lower than this one. So, I feel like this is actually it. Um, there's this other door. I think we came out of that originally. So this is volunteer testing. So we've checked this out as well, because I think we started in here, right? I think we did. So yeah, a lot of side rooms. But not necessarily something else that we can find in here. I think I've been pretty thorough in the last episode. So might as well move on then. So the only place we didn't really recheck was the lower area where we got our very first neuro mold. Um, this one is blocked off, so might as well. Okay, that's definitely a mimic. So it's waking up, but it can't really reach me. Can I shoot it through the... I don't think I can. No, because it's bouncing off the... There we go. That's splattered on my screen, but there we go. Kind of got hit with a bit of an by a bit of electricity before, so uh, true and true. Yes, I'm making a sport out of this and toss. I do love leverage. It's a a simple but pretty cool ability. Oh, it's this one I wanted to use. If there's one mimic, there might actually be more. But shotgun is probably preferable. Medkit and Zhao Long Hang. Okay, if you would have used leverage for this, it would have been a complete waste of time because there's absolutely nothing here. Maybe something in the trash can? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So that's useless. Uh, we opened up the security station last time. And I know we started out... Oh, there's a door here, but I think we opened that up as well, right? The skill recording room. Yeah, this is the big room with the phantoms. So, unless I can get in the floorboards on the upper floor through here, I don't think that's going to help us much. Because that's a staircase that got us up there, but maybe... I don't see any way to access the upper floors from here. Well, aside from the obvious staircase, but I think we did that already. So I don't know how to get that neural mold. Maybe there's a telekinesis ability or something. I don't really need it. I have plenty of materials to make a boatload of those myself. So, heading out of the Neuromod Division. I think we're done here. So I remember this. This is where we... This is Simulation Lab. This is where we started the game. That's what I was looking for. So, that floating chair is obviously a mimic. And this was the first area that had a lot of mimics. And there's apparently... Hmm, there's apparently a terminal here that I probably couldn't really repair, but wait. I can already access it. What? Why does it say re repair if I if it's already repaired? Okay, a bit of a bug, but never you mind. I'm just quickly going to check in here as well if I haven't missed anything. There we go, another mimic. They are hiding in the boxes. Well, as boxes, basically. So, fair enough. Oh, why didn't I take these things off for that guy? Well, that's interesting. And then the locker. So this is this is a, a little trip through memory lane. And there's a phantom over there. Um, if I can just sneak. I have sneak two now, so I might be able to just shot it in one go. And if we update the um, the sneak attack damage. It's gonna become really, really handy if I can just sneak around and kill everybody like that. So there's one more phantom down here. I can hear him. Don't really see him yet. I'm gonna take him out anyway. Back to where it all began. This is giving me nostalgia vibes. Just being back here, it's really, really cool. And I can now... Oh, wait. My, oh, my inventory is full. It doesn't show... Wait, I have an entire bar available. Oh, because the Psy Hypos need... Wait. So if I um, move this over here, I can take that. And that guy ha hasn't seen me, apparently. Well, I have a stunning surprise for him. He's going to be so amazed he won't be able to move. Hi! There he goes. 
thank you for all of that. That's given me more ammo. I think we've used all of that. Okay. So there's another operator over there. Oof. Violent explosion and a dead operator. Always handy, always handy. And now we're probably getting close to... Ooh. Sounds like a mimic and a phantom. Hello. It sounded like it came from over here, but... Could be wrong. Might be inside of the simulation as well. What the hell is this thing? Okay. That's a mimic. I can hide from that. So that phantom saw the shot, of course. I don't know what this is doing here. I think it's getting closer. Hi! There we go. I killed that one. That wasn't a Tyric one. And I killed him in two shots. First one was a sneak attack though, so... There we go. There's definitely something else. I saw the markers on the left there. There we go. The double chair kind of gave that away. There's definitely a lot of enemies in here. And I think... I heard another phantom. It's not immediately over here. There we go, another one. They're starting to become really, really aggressive. Where is that last phantom? I'm hearing an alarm of some sort all of a sudden. I don't know if that's because I went through the window. What the hell is going on? The music's getting louder. And it's, uh, well, putting my hairs up, right? There's another Mimic down. Builder-wise. Oh. Let's drop that. I don't know what the game is uh, talking about. Nothing. So I must have misheard about the Phantom then. Because there's absolutely nothing here. So I think I can safely leave the area now. Ah, if I could have repaired this control panel, it would have enabled the elevator up to the second floor. So if I now do this... That gets us to... Ah, just that elevator. Weird. But it would have allowed us to go onto this floor without the glue cannon. But I don't see why you would go here without the glue cannon. Um, so yeah, let's leave. So back in the lobby, but my plan is... Oh, there's actually an alarm panel here. I don't know if I hit that one already. Let's try it. Let's try it. Don't want to leave an alarm panel untouched. One, two... Two, three. No, okay. So the plan. Ooh, the plan is. That's a nightmare. Okay. Um, should probably throw a null wave transmitter at it. There we go. So that stops the nightmare from attacking, clearly. And then I'm gonna... Yeah, that's gonna... So he's leaving. Oh, he's coming up. Kind of forgot about that. He probably could do that as well. He's having issues. Oh, shit. Okay, he, he hit those Psycho Shocks straight through, the, through everything. Uh, so... Mad kit and some healing. Luckily, I raided the kitchen. Um, I think. Oh god. There we go. And I'm back to the Q beam. And there we go. Okay, he was doing some weird shit, but holy crap, that was loud. Nightmare down. Nightmare down. The Q-beam did its work. Whew. And I saw a few mimics, so might as well try and tag those as well. There's more coral here. And I think we're, we should be fine, right? 
Let's go back with the shotgun. Could have just killed it with the shotgun there in the end because it was really, really close. But uh, the Q beam worked out all right. Okay, that was a mimic. A mimic over there. That's probably the one that I saw running around. We could revisit Psychotronics as well, but there's one thing I want to do first. I want to go to the Arboretum and find that key. The key from Alex's office. If I can get that, then maybe some options become available to actually save everybody on the ship, because that allows us to open Alex's shuttle in the Arboretum itself. So, going down to the Arboretum. See you guys in a second. Okay, so this isn't good. I'm sending you the code to my graph shaft. Assuming it still works. We don't really need it, Alex. Um, we kind of made sure we could enter that already, uh, but we can get... What the fuck was that? Holy Jesus, that was loud. Um, that broke down, so might as well fix that. Repair all that. I'm a master fixer, but what was that Good noise? Evening, so, it's a lot of things we can finish here. I think the golden gun is one. Uh, we also can install the sprinkler control, so that's what it's something I want to do first. But what the hell was that? That turret is still alive. So I'm guessing we're fine? Psychoscope doesn't pop anything just yet. I know that box is supposed to be there. I freaked out about it before, but... Oh. What was that? There's one mimic over there. Morgan, Dr. Igwe, are you approaching the crew facilities? If so, this is a sentimental request, but my collection, the gallery of photos the others used to laugh at, each picture is a decryption key to a set of neural data, connectomes, the guests who came to the station. Among them, Leitner, the pianist, is... Is dead now. We can't let those skills be lost. It's all that's left of them. Please, Morgan, if you can, I would be grateful. I'm sending you an audio file that will open this safe in my room. You can play it with your transcribe. Okay, there we go. Makes sense. Gustav Leitner himself. That's a nice concert. I hope it, it's not uh, copyrighted, because otherwise I'm fucked again. I'm just quickly gonna kill those mimics. I don't wanna have to deal with them while we're running around here. Because everybody's gone here, I think, because they all went to the cargo bay. Where it's obviously safer. But somebody... What the hell happened to the... Oh! The Neuromod is jumped... God damn you! That was a mimic. It was a jumping neuro mode. That was nasty. Where's the other one? Because I, I scanned it before, so it sh I should be able to track it, right? Oh, there it is. It turned into something over here. It was a bit of... Oh wow, it was a bit of dead typhoon. That was an interesting camouflage technique. Uh, so those are probably the, the operators downstairs, so I think we're fine. So let's enable the sprinkler system now. So I feel like we're pretty safe at the moment. That's why I'm running all over the place. So, let's plug in the... Wait, take the note. So entry 165, I've managed to reduce the growth time to around 10 minutes per fruit. It's remarkable to see them sprout from practically nothing and grow to an edible size and ripeness before my very eyes. More importantly, I finally obtained clearance for a wider range testing of the growth formula from Dr. Kalstra. All that's left is actually fabricating it and then inserting it in the sprinkler system. I'm keeping the fabrication plan on my person as I have no doubt others would love to claim credit for it. So, I can actually... Wait, how do I... I probably need to plug that in, no? How do I... 
put it in there. Ah, that's the growth formula. So transfer. There it goes. And I press the button. Activate the sprinkler system. I did, right? The button is disabled. Is it now? Gardening tips. Harvest your fruit after the growth cycle is complete. Is it doing something? Was, was that just it? That was a stupid side quest if that was just it. Uh, isn't it supposed to do something? Or maybe it's doing something in the greenhouse itself? There's also a sprinkler system over here. We use that to scare away the... Telepath. But maybe now that we've inserted the growth formula, this actually grows fruit again? Doesn't seem like it's doing that. It said 10 minutes. I don't know why I can't. Oh. It said 10 minutes in the uh, notes. So we might as well wait. We need to go up there anyway. So let's do that first. And I know I said we're going to do that first, but on the way to the crew quarters. Wait. My radical turned red there for a second. What's going on? We do have our amazing hacking skills now, so we could go in here. I'm gonna have to go with the disruptive stun gun. The music is doing weird stuff. And hack it. There we go. Um, where's my stun gun? There it is. There we go. Two operatives down, and then we can grab everything that's in here. A lot of Q-beam cells, a weapon upgrade kit, big bag candy, and more utilities over here. So the area map, don't really need that, but might as well grab it. And then the security door, that's more interesting. So now we can open up that, wait, lock, unlock. Ah, is that just this door, not the door over there? That would be nice, right? Well, at least I'm gonna take the bullets and the fabrication plans, but... There's also no weapon locker. Well, there is a weapon locker, but it's completely drained of weapons. So, this is still not something we can access. Hmm. And that's a Voltaic Phantom. Um, that means... Yeah, B in the face. And then... Double tap, triple tap, quadruple tap with the shotgun. And it's gone. It's gone now. It's definitely gone now. That seems like Weaver Central as well, but... That opened that up. Now, Alex's key. Just quickly gonna check for Mimics. I won't be joining you. Don't worry, there's no trick. Just a gift from your big brother. It's the truth, like I promised. Took me a while to dig it up. Someone wanted to hide it from you. My computer, another video. Give it a look and we'll talk. I'm sending you the password. Assuming you haven't hacked your way in yet. I, I think I already hacked my way in, but uh, there we go. Seven, six, oh, oh, two. 9 and that opens up the save that gets us the integral structure Alex used sweet key the transcribe and the remote. Once things get as bad as I think they probably are your only option is to escape get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1 Alex has a private escape pod it's locked up I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower near the chair you know the one I'm talking about Listen, there's more at stake this time than just us, or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this... dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will soon. Oh. 
Okay, so there's probably something governing the Typhoon. Let's open up the terminal. We haven't hacked it yet. There's two utilities. And a video. Is that... Oh, okay. Is it gonna be somebody sitting again? Will I have enough space? My name is Morgan Yu. Year is 2035. I'm aboard the Talos One Research Facility. What else? Why are we making this video? Right. Because my big brother is paranoid. Psychometric data is showing statistically significant variance in personality patterns between trial runs of the new neuromods. Whatever. <laughs> I feel more like myself than ever. I mean, look at this. We did it, Alex. It's real. Enjoy it while you can. Because in a few minutes, it'll all be gone. When we strip out the neuromods and reset. I know. Including my memory of it. No way around it. Let's talk about the backup. So, the Typhon organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. My gut tells me it's kind of a neural framework, but externalized. Still waiting on analysis to confirm. In the meantime, I've given Alex the design for a device I think could shut it down, if it ever broke containment. Alex just has to grow a pair and commit. You don't have to take all the credit. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. Trust me. What else are we going to do? Blow everything up? <laughs> that won't save us. And if it does work, is it worth it? The people that come after us will be smarter, stronger, immortal. They can judge us if they want. But they'll know they exist because of the things we did. I'm ready. Do it. Okay, and then we went for another reset. Well, there you have it. Everything I've done is what you've asked me to do. I didn't think you'd believe me unless you heard it from your own mouth. The tests, they changed you. Not a lot at first, but eventually, the constant stripping of your memory. I didn't know who you were anymore. All I want is to have my sister back so we can finish what we started. The device you mentioned is an advanced version of the Null Wave. It's the only way to stop the Typhoon without destroying everything we've been working toward. We're just missing some scan data from the Carl to complete the design. Help me finish this, Morgan. And then, you can have my arming key. I don't believe you want to use it anymore, but you can have it. I left the chip set for you on my desk. You'll need to upgrade your psychoscope to scan the coral. I'll send you the scan locations. Okay. So that explains what we've been looking for. So we were looking for a third option. So that explains that she just said herself that blowing it up won't help us. So that gives us the first option, the January option, is out of the question. Because we ourselves said it wouldn't be enough. And according to the video, the longer we were going through the tests, the more we were not ourselves. So that means that January is the one personification of, well, the least bit of Morgan Yu that we could be. The coil detector. Let's install that. I did get a few neuro mods, so might as well use those to upgrade my psychoscope chipset capacity and then equip the scope chipset for the coral scanning. Might as well do the far scan then as well, just so we can detect uh, objects from further away. That is that. So now we need to scan coral, but there was something else here. Rooftop bridge controls. Let's extend the bridge as well. Because right now, I do want to check out his escape pod. Because that's another one of the possible endings, I suppose. Or you just... Leave? That would be a bit weird, but extending. That way we can get to the, the shuttle safely. Then we have more files. Morgan, that video was... 
I'm still checking it against my directives. But if scanning the coral will grant you access to Alex's arming key, then perhaps it's the best course. Perhaps knowing the coral's purpose will reinforce your decision to destroy Talos One. Just be careful. We're running out of time. Yeah, that definitely doesn't make me trust <laughs> January anymore. Um, fabrication plan for the Neuromold. I think we already had that. Then four emails. Sarah, I need your help tracking down a missing key card. This should be one of your highest priority. It's labeled EP101. On top of a computer cabinet, I'd say someone was trying to hide it along with what looks like a bug out bag. Should I be concerned about anything? It's still here, by the way. Rogue operator. We've seen that. I think we've seen all of those. Your sibling is indeed different. I've sent the comparisons to you and Bellamy for evaluation. As you'll see, there's noticeable personality drift, more than I'd expect from Harry Neuromold cycling. It's even more prominent because of the duration in which these behavior shifts have developed. As requested, I did not discuss this with Morgan. Interestingly, Morgan seems unaware of these shifts. As an aside, I believe this poses interesting questions for other applications of the Neuromold, not solely therapy, but reconditioning. Okay. Uh, so now we have the super fruit and we can start scanning coral. I'm wondering if this is actually part of it, because there's a lot of coral everywhere now. Uh, but I'm just going to check out the bridge. Can we now access the escape vault? Aha, so that's the key card, EP101. And Sarah said it's still here. So does that mean it's in the cargo bay? With Sarah? Or even Sarah has it on her person. That might be a very quick way of ending the game. But uh, let's head over there. We can basically fly. So, Oh, there was something There was something up there. There we go. There's a corpse here. Kennedy Mironov. Thank you, buddy. And then we can get our super fruits. And that's this. Dr. Howard's super fruit. And that's probably it for this quest, I suppose. Because we're done. There we go. Objective completed. I don't know. Let's check the inventory what that actually does. An experimental fruit produced by Dr. Howard's growth formula. It's also orange, so that means it's a, a quest item. And then the air mixture regulator is also something we can use later on, I suppose. But our inventory is completely full. Aside from one little thingy there. So I'm just quickly gonna head towards the fabricator underneath. Well, this... Ow! Fuck. Did that break again? What's going on? That's not normal. Do we have a recycler over here somewhere? Or do I need to move? I think I'm gonna move to the crew quarters. Because that's another area that we haven't really checked anymore. And we've uh, received quite a few keys to open up rooms of everybody. Um, so there we go. Let's go to the crew quarters. So, back in the crew quarters. Um, I still hear an active turret. That's an active phantom, but I might as well just tap him in the face. Hello. What was that? I think a, a mimic. Did a mimic just jump out? Hello. You missed me, buddy. There we go. More than capable enough to take out these guys now. Uh, where did I put the... Where's the recycler in this area? I always forget. I always forget. I think it's in the, the kitchen, right? Wasn't there one in the kitchen? I think there was. So that's over here. Probably shouldn't be running around here like that. Did I check that? I did. Or at least it's not one of those things. Where the hell did it go? What the? There we go. It was calling my name. It was it was it was calling out Morgan? That was a bit weird, but okay. Just a few phantoms, nothing to worry about. Oh, there's another one up there. Might as well sneak up on it. 
that can get a bit of sneak attack damage in. That's always nice. Especially if it's right in its face. That sucked. That sucked. I think it's over there now. There we go. Just keep moving with the thermal ones because they make those uh, those freaky spots. Okay, kitchen. Let's grab ourselves some more materials by going in here. There's only a fabricator here, but I'm going to use it anyway. Just to make some more shotgun shells. Really, really need those. Because I'm uh, spending them like crazy. I don't want to alarm you, but... There's been a launch from the Argus platform. The board of directors has caught wind of the situation here. I suppose it was inevitable despite my efforts. That's why it's important we act quickly, decisively. They'll try to take this out of our hands, Morgan. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Let's hurry up towards the uh, the actual crew quarters then. So we can take that out. So, do we have the keycard for Jada Marks? We do now. So that's great. So that's another room we can clear out now. And of course there's a freaking safe. There are some bullets here as well. Which is cool. And then the safe. I actually have the key code. Probably from a, from a while back. I can't remember that. But there we go. Open that up. And a weapon upgrade kit. Ooh. Artemis Golden Pistol. Okay, okay, wait a second. I think I start to remember where the fabrication, the fabricator is. No, the fabricator we know. The recycler. What was that? I can definitely hear... Um, mimic. Hi. Where did it go? It turned into something. Okay, yeah, it's gone for now, but I want that golden pistol. Wait. What's going on? There's stuff detecting me, but... I think the recycler was in a side room. I think it was even in this side room, no? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cleaned out our inventory a bit. And grabbed all that. Now, that golden gun. I want a golden gun. I want that golden gun. That sounds awesome. It's probably going to be a mimic around here somewhere, but I'm going to blast it in the face if it comes running around the corner again. Cheetah marks. And then over here, Artemis Golden Pistol. Okay. There we go. The golden gun. Now, that has its own upgrades. Bald. Interesting. And it starts at 16 damage, which is the max we have now. So luckily, luckily we haven't really upgraded our pistol yet. Too much. So I can actually... Wait. So if I assign that to the left, we can upgrade it. Twice in firepower, and that goes up to 19, so that's 3 damage more. And we can upgrade the range as well. I'm going to do that twice. And once into accuracy. So once we get more upgrade, uh, well, weapon upgrade kits, we're going to do that. The other piss I'm going to keep, of course, because we use the materials to upgrade it anyway. I don't think I can get those back. But that's interesting. So does that mean there's a golden shotgun as well? So now we have her terminal over here. We're at uh, Sarah Elazar's uh, terminal now. I don't have a password, but we can hack it. Well, there we go. And that gives us one file, the weapon kit fabrication plan. We already have that, but might as well do that. And then four emails we've all seen. So that's the missing key card. It should be one of your highest priority. It's labeled EP101. So that's for his escape bolt. Hmm. Inter oh, that's the wrong direction. Interesting, interesting, but... Aha! Igwe. Igwe. So that's gonna open up... Uh, it's supposed to open up a safe in his 
office, right? It's a bit weird. I can open up his terminal. There we go. And that gives us Sci-Hapo fabrication plan. And one email. Ah, meeting Gustav Leitner. Miss Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him. I think we read this before. Yeah, there are no guarantees. I think we read that before. And that's probably Gustav Leitner himself on the picture there. But Igwe told us... Aha! Um, how, how do I... Play, play that, wait, can I play that from the data menu? Lightning music sample, so play. There we go. Aha, I love that about this game. Just the actions you take are more important than anything else. Gustav Leitner Connectome, and that's another quest item. I wonder if we can fix the station by doing quests like these. The lock was key to the first concerto Leitner played. It was the first time Maya heard him, and we were both. I felt small in the light of his skill. I can play it now too, thanks to a neuromod, but only in my head. You used a guest neuromod. I copied their neuroscans and hid the data on my transcribe, fabricated my own mods. I'm not proud of the act. Now, I'm glad I did. Indeed, because that kind of saved his work. No? The Mimic is still running around here, but uh, don't mind if I do it. I'm just checking the other cabinets. Oh god, Jesus Christ! Did I kill it? No. Wow, holy shit. He just made no noise until he was right in front of me there. Jeebus. Yeah, I kind of jumped out of my skin for that one. Whew. Okay. Okay. Video games over here. Oh, wait. Why is there everything... Oh, that's the hidden treasure thing again. Nothing spectacular there, but, it's, but I think we kind of went in here already. So that's where we need to go if we finish up the treasure uh, thingy, the treasure map quest. I can hear a mimic, but is it right over here? Yeah, it is. There it is. <laughs> kind of, my view was obstructed by my own psychoscope there. And that was annoying. So I think, I think it's... It's supposed to be up there in the... Um, there was this one phantom that we couldn't really reach. We kept hearing a phantom, but we couldn't see it. So, it's supposed to be... Oh! A number over here. And there we go. Jesus. I mean, I'm not that scared of them anymore. But, because we can easily deal with them. But every time it happens, I jump out of my skin. Uh, bu -bu 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 here. Or... Aha! Is it that? There we go, it's that. Investigate step follows map. Complete. So I think we have two more of those left. Yeah, so two more maps we need to check out. So we have... Uh, we're supposed to have... No, we have two digits. Wait. Wait, I have... I already had two digits, right? What happened in between there? Okay, finally we still need to do two of the four. Which is weird, but never mind. I was just checking my objectives, and of course, we still had to check Alex's suite, which we just got the key for, so... Moving up. Kind of forgot about this area, and I don't think the enemies forgot about this area, so we killed the enemy that was outside of this area. But there might, of course, be new, because that door was just open. Um, in our room. Nobody here? Okay. So then, Alex is sweet. We now have the key card. And we can check out. I'm just going to check, because otherwise we might get jumped again. Okay. 
So, two Neuromods. The Transtar Reward Program, don't really need that. We can go into his terminal here as well now. Does that show us anything new? Security footage. I cannot find any camera footage of Chief Ilyushin leaving Morgan's quarter. It either does not exist or it has been deleted. When questioned, Morgan said it was an engineering matter and does not want it filed with human resources. If you want to know more, I suggest you speak to Morgan directly. I will follow up with Chief Ilyushin as ordered. And then the Michaela stuff about her disease, probably. Which is a bit weird, but nothing too weird for these people. Uh, an optimizer chipset. Which is probably for... Definitely for the scope, but what does it do? Reduces the side cost. Oh! Whoa, that was... Um, he didn't hit me. That was probably a fraction of a second before he hit me. Ah, oh, my neck. I kind of sprained something on that one, I think. I just checked for mimics. I know it doesn't check crater mimics. That's fucking bullshit. So wait. The key is supposed to be here. But he doesn't even have a safe in his room. Or does he? This is a bit weird. So the game tells us to go in here for his key. But, I mean, this is a pretty empty room, especially for the room of the main character. This is pretty sparse. Uh, I hid the key to Alex's private escape pod in the debriefing room of the Neuromod Division. Looks like Alex figured out my scheme. The key was gone. I tracked a series of clues that led me to a safe in Alex's office. The safe had old transcribe logs from me, plus a key to Alex's room in the crew facilities. Okay. Aha! I thought maybe I'd need to lift some objects, and there it is! There is the key card. It's underneath the globe. Interesting. Escape Talos 1. We could just end the game right now if we wanted to. And that is interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, although I might actually just do a cheeky save and reload it after I've done that ending. It's a bit weird, but with that, I'm gonna take a little break because I'm going for uh, an hour and a half again. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And when we get back, we're gonna continue side questing. Maybe even uh, try to escape just just as a cheeky, a cheeky thought. I'm not gonna do that as a proper ending, but... Uh, it might be fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.